This is a three year old baby who was dumped by her parents. They are looking at her. One could imagine she's a seven month old baby, whereas not. Those looking after her say they had issues of malnutrition which negatively impacted on her to have the standard growth. A visiting team from the United Kingdom led by David Poppit seemed to be overwhelmed by the increasing numbers of street children. According to David, there is need to educate Ugandans on projects that focuses at generating income to get rid of poverty. He pledged to mobilize his fellows back home to raise money from the foundation to support the disadvantaged children, adding that while in the UK they didn't know the magnitude of the street children until when he is at the vicinity. Support bursaries and to satisfy the needs of the children problem over here and what I have to do is go back to Europe go back to the Americas and convince them that this is a serious problem and that it needs support in whatever way we can do it and at the same time educate the people here as to how they can raise money how they can generate income to support the sort of facilities they're going even here in this fantastic site there's still more work to do and they need money and it's my job to try and locate that money and get it for them Christopher Rubega, the founding member of Aggie Babies Home, which is being run by New Hope Primary School, says there is need to sensitize the adolescents to get rid of the unwanted pregnancies, which they say is the genesis of the increasing numbers of street children. We get them when they are one day born, one month, one year, and the challenge is so big. Just to find a, a, a young girl of 15 or even 14 years having a, a baby and he doesn't, she doesn't know the father. She doesn't know anyone who can help and she doesn't even know where to take the baby. She ends up by abandoning the baby. So for our, 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 we are not praying that we could get more, more abandoned babies but our prayer is that we have to have a good system how we can help these young girls. The director of youth vulnerable children and orphans, which is looking after these vulnerable children, says there is need to revitalize Uganda's education by ensuring that the youth stop the habit of being job seekers. According to Aaron Sevalikera, there is need to redesign the curriculum so that the students leave school with the capacity to start up their own jobs. These have organized an education conference which will address the challenges in the Ugandan education sector and how best the education system can suit the global dynamics.